Um, I keep getting comments about this girl who is in the background of the video. So this is Darby. I figured I'd introduce her to you guys because you keep asking. So this is Darby. She's going to go nap. How's it going guys? Today's video is about a really cool website that can really help a lot of modelers. And I'm talking about P3D. Now I need to be transparent and say that this is sponsored by P3D, but that will not prevent me from being completely honest and giving an honest review about the site. I took the sponsorship because I actually believe this will benefit um, you, my audience, especially modelers. So I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna tell you guys what this is. I'm, I'm gonna explain to you why it's really important for you to use this if you're trying to get hired. Uh, so let's get into what P3D is. So P3D is a really awesome website where you can upload your models and display them in tons of really interesting, really creative ways. Now, the main point I wanna focus on for this is customer experience. If you are a modeler trying to get hired to a, uh, you know, a game development agency or be, you know, just a freelancer that wants to be a modeler, anything like that. If you want to get hired, the best way to do it is create an interesting customer experience when it comes to how they view your model. Now, a lot of times modelers will take their model, put a cool texture on it, put it in a cool scene, render it, put it on something like Instagram, ArtStation, Facebook, try to get hired through there. And there are ways to get hired through social media like that. That's not the best way to display your model. If you are a modeler, as you know, there's the wireframe. How good is your topology? Um, how good are your UVs? How good is the model? A lot of bad topology can be hidden with good texturing and good lighting. So you want to be able to show how good of a model you are, how hireable and how marketable you are. And being able to create a customer experience is really good. For example, Apple does that with their um, sales pages. If you click on the iPad and you scroll through the page, it's a beautiful experience, not just picture of the iPad what it does in a buy button. There's so much more that goes into it that makes you really immersed into you know what this product is. That's what P3D can offer you. Now what's really cool is these things called these focus spots, these focus points, where you can pick a specific spot on the model and then make that a highlight. You can click on it and then you have a camera movement that zooms in on it and then you can really be able to point out what you consider to be the highlights of your model rather than expecting someone who isn't a model and doesn't really know what to look for, being able to say, check this out, check this out, check this out, and they can click on it and it's interactive, which is your customer experience, is really good and a really good way to um, show your models in a very fun, creative way. So the way this would work in Blender is you would have your model in Blender already animated. You do all the animation in Blender, then you bring it into P3D. You would end up exporting it as a GLTF, having all that stuff there. Then you import it directly into P3D. There you can actually view each one of your animations. It has a really great interface to show you really each of your animations. You can uh, turn them off, turn them on. That's where you can take them and start assigning them to these hot spots and really showing how amazing your model is. Now what's great about this is it's all very fluid. It's all nice animations. You can set these things called leave animations. So say you click on the model and like the trunk of the car opens up, you can make a leave action. So when they click away from that highlight, it closes. So you'd give it a negative value and it'll close when they leave. And you can also parent animations. So say you have an animation of like the trunk of a car opening up and then in there something moves. So what you can do is say, after the trunk opens, once we zoom in on that trunk, the trunk opens, another animation starts after that. It's called parenting these animations. You can do that to be able to show the complexity of your model and also show the interactivity of the model, even if you were to be using it in Blender or any other 3D program. It shows everything that's in the model. Now, what's really cool is these camera movements for the highlights. You can click on one highlight and the camera moves to it. Then you can click on another highlight and it moves the camera in this really beautiful smooth motion to the other thing. So you can focus on like, if you have a car model, the detail of the tire, click on another, and it goes over the way over to like the detail of like the rims or the spokes, something like that, where you can really highlight what's cool about the model. Now there's endless ways to show and tell the viewer what's going on. So in these highlights, you can make a text box and further explain what's going on. Sometimes things need to be explained further and you can do that. You can even have links. So you can link to like a PDF that really shows a lot of documentation that goes on with your model. If there's so much going on there, you can put it on even a longer PDF and have them link to it. It's really great to be able to fully explain the value of the model you're making. Now, when it comes to brand awareness, say you're a company and you have a lot of models, you're showing these models on your website. Say you sell computers or components, parts, anything like that where you can preview these on your website. Brand awareness is very important if you are a brand. Even freelancers having brand awareness, it's really, really important. Well, you can set up background images to fit with the color scheme of your company and logos so you can put those in there so you can really immerse the viewer in 
this is a, for example, like for me, this would be like a ducky 3D model. So you have the ducky 3D model like on the lower right hand side and then sort of the, um, like my blue to black gradient in the background. So it really shows this is a ducky 3D thing along with the model full immersion of brand awareness. Now, for those of you who like augmented reality, the website can show the viewer if this model is compatible for AR. So if you like to use models for AR and you upload it to P3D, it'll say, hey, this isn't compatible for AR, it has too many textures, something like that. You can go ahead and change the model, re-upload it, says, okay, it's good to go for AR, you can upload it and the viewers can view it and hire you for AR, or you can go work for Snapchat or Instagram or something like that. Now, my personal favorite thing is the iframes. If you've never heard of an iframe, it's something, it's a line of code you put in the HTML code language of your website. Now, if you're building websites, um, a lot of times iframes are used for like embedding a YouTube video. Well, in this case, you can make an iframe, customize everything in the iframe, and then you can put it on your website. So if you have a website that displays models, you can embed these previews into your website, which is really great for big companies, small freelancers, everything in between. So you can make a customer experience with a nice website, use P3D to display the models. You can even say, hey, when it's playing on my website, make sure you're showing the wireframe view or the UV view or a particular mat cap. That's really nice. There's a lot of customization that comes with these iframes here for P3D. All right, so like I said, this is an honest review of P3D. I don't have very many bad things to say at all about P3D. And really the only thing I can think of is a few slight UI improvements. Other than that, amazing perfect for modelers. It's great for, especially if you're trying to get hired, show off what you're doing, um, all that stuff. It's amazing. Check them out linked in the description. Thank you guys for watching.